to this edition of Borderland Treasure, sponsored by Preservation Texas and the County of El Paso. Tonight, we take you to Socorro, Texas. Rio Vista Farm has stood for more than a century, and it tells the stories of braceros, or Mexican farm workers, who came to the U.S. as the country experienced labor shortages after World War II. Take a look. The remnants of an old farm in Socorro are humble. But these old structures tell stories of the thousands of skilled Mexican workers who made their way to the U.S. Rio Vista Farm began as an El Paso poor farm more than a hundred years ago. It sheltered destitute adults and children during the Great Depression and beginning in 1951. During that time, the United States put out a call to Mexico to go ahead and get volunteers to come in and work to cultivate our crops and work on our farms. Workers from Mexico began gathering here. The United States was responsible for 80% of their wages, and Mexico was responsible for 20%. Most of these buildings were used for dormitories. Victor Reta with the city of Socorro describes what this space looked like decades ago. In our research, we discovered the kitchen staff would only cook bologna sandwiches and you got one a day. From 1951 to 1964, Rio Vista Farm processed hundreds of thousands of braceros, skilled Mexican workers to work in agriculture across the United States. We processed hundreds of thousands of farm workers from Mexico. At 90 years old, Vicente Esteves, who worked in the farm with the U.S. Public Health Service in the 60s, can recall every detail. He now lives in the Rio Grande Valley and joined us by phone. Most of the farm workers, the majority of them, were very, very fine farm workers and human beings. He describes what braceros were subjected to upon crossing the border and arriving at the farm. And they would be fumigated, their clothing, all the, the areas where there was hair. Esteves says farm workers would then be processed. And they would be dispersed wherever they were needed. There'd be a line of receptionists typing, getting contracts, and that's all they would do is process contracts so they had their line, and then they would send them out one of the exits. Reta takes us inside an old weathered building with lots of character. Sunlight seeps through its broken wooden planks. It was here, he says, the workers were processed. So at any given time, how many bracero workers were here? Um, at one time, how many were here? You would see a little over a thousand, depending on what the need was. 18 buildings still stand here, made of adobe. At the time, that was one of the materials that was used most prominently in all of their designs right here in our region of the United States. Reta tells us it's the water damage that causes the mixture of dirt and water to crumble. Rio Vista Farm, now nominated as a National Historic Landmark, is on the journey to restoration, though. We are engaged in preserving the historical significance of this property. The city of Socorro allocated more than a million dollars to restore the farm, and in 2016, it was declared a national treasure by the National Trust for Historic Preservation. We're the last standing Bracero site in the country, and that is why it's so important to us, not only as a city of Socorro, but also as a binational piece of history to preserve this. There's also been another push to keep the stories of braceros alive. UTEP has collected oral histories from the workers themselves. We've been able to meet braceros who have told us firsthand their experience in the bracero program. Many to this day tell us that it was something that was a rewarding to them in the sense that they were able to create a family here in the United States or provide better living conditions for their family back in Mexico. Rio Vista Farm, a treasure that reminds us of the past and what generations before us endured. Our thanks to the city of Socorro for taking us on that tour. If you'd like to learn more about Rio Vista Farm or see past Borderland Treasure segments, you can visit our website, ktsm.com. We will see you here next time.